Welcome back to Project Guts. Let's look more carefully at the code in Blockland. However, first I would like to do a quick preview of the interface. Notice that we have some data boxes that display numbers. One data box is for time, one is for the number of copper atoms, one is for the number of silver nitrate, and one is for the number of silver atoms deposited. We also have a setup button, an add copper strip button, and an add silver nitrate button. These buttons are a run once button. We also have a slider to decide on the number of silver nitrate to start with, and we have a forever button, which is a continuous loop button. Now let's scroll down and look at the code behind this model and behind this interface. Notice that we have uh, some tabs here. We have a tab for each agent, so we have one for silver nitrate, one for silver, one for copper, one for water, and there's always a tab for everyone in case we want every agent of every kind and every breed to do the same thing. And we have a world tab. The world tab and the world page is where all the setup happens. So first we look at the setup button that was in the interface and this is the corresponding block that's full of instructions that need to be executed when that setup button is pushed. You notice that we have the clear terrain first, delete everyone, this will start us on a clean slate, the clock is set to zero and then all the data boxes are set to zero. We create a thousand water agents in the setup and we scatter them. That's all there is in the setup button. In the add silver nitrate, when, it, when the add silver nitrate uh, button is clicked, what we have is the executed is in the following block. It creates as many silver nitrate as the slider is set to. Those silver nitrates are white in color and they have a pyramid shape and they're scattered and this updates the data box with the count of silver nitrate within 200 steps. Now remember, we talked about that 200 steps before, that um, that covers all the steps in Spaceland. So when we're counting how many agents of silver nitrates there are in all Spaceland, if we count within 200 steps, we're pretty safe that we got them all. Let's look at more carefully at the uh, add copper strip but button and when that's pushed how do we create those copper agents the 150 copper agents create them so they look like they're in a in a copper rod or in a copper strip well if we look carefully here we're actually creating one copper agent this one copper agent is going to have the color red and it's going to have a position in Spaceland determined by the X and the Y. The X minus 1 and the Y is 25. And the heading is minus 90, which is kind of looking south. Um, then we have a repeat loop. A repeat loop that's going to be, that's going to repeat these two instructions 49 times. The repeat loop says, go forward one and then create one copper. Then it goes back again, it goes forward one, and we'll create one copper agent. So in the end of this block, the first copper agent is going to uh, repeat adding copper agents 49 more times. We have a total of, so we have a total of 50 copper agents, more or less in a column, starting at x equal minus one, and y equal 25, and going down, heading south. Then we start the same process again, however this time the one copper atom is in a different x location and x location is 0, y location is 25 and again 49 times this one copper agent is going to create 49 more agents that will go down um, in, a, in a column and so on until we have 50 plus 50 plus 50, 150 copper agents. Now remember again that the data box gets updated by counting how many copper there are, how many copper agents there are within 200 steps. What about the other tabs? If we look at the other tabs, silver nitrate tab. Silver nitrate represents the silver nitrate ionic compound which is soluble in solution and therefore it's um, dissolved in solution and it's moving, it has a fluid movement with water. We represent this here by a wiggle walk. Now we don't have a wiggle walk 
under the silver tab because the silver and the copper the copper doesn't have a wiggle tab, wiggle uh, movement at all either and that's because the silver and the copper agents are stationary in the model because in the real reaction they are also solid and they're insoluble in water however under the copper tab we have a collision block Where, what is the collision block for it's for the collision of copper with silver nitrate when copper collides with silver nitrates, if the copper color is red, which means it's the copper atom, the neutral copper atom, then we create in one silver and we're deleting the collide and the collide in this case is the silver nitrate. So the silver nitrate reacts with the copper and is eliminated and now it becomes silver atom. And the copper though does not get eliminated yet it changes colors to gray and that represents the state of the copper being going from copper zero to copper plus one ionic charge. Then when the silver nitrate collides again with uh, the gray copper this time then it will form another silver uh, agent and the this time the silver nitrate is deleted that's the collide but also the copper is deleted because now it's part of the copper 2 plus which is a product and it's no longer part of the copper agent. Um, that's it for the code. The water has a wiggle walk too and there's nothing in the everyone tab and uh, that's it for the base model. Now this is just the beginning. We will be adding to this base model to build a more complete rep representation of the reaction. Take care.